Welcome back to another episode of Office Hours with Jess. So the million dollar question I'm gonna be answering today is what is a postdoc? This is the question that I've been getting asked constantly um, as I've been starting my new postdoc position and telling my friends and they're asking, okay, yeah, so what do you do for work? What is your job? And it seems like no one really knows what a postdoc is. Do you know what I am? Yes, you are postdoc. But what does a postdoc do? I don't know. <laughs> a postdoc is something for after you're done with your PhD and you just write essays. I don't know. That's it. I think postdocs, they read, write, research documents. <laughs> yeah. Postdoctoral fellow is someone who has graduated from their PhD and uh, they are in the role of trying to uh, do research in order to advance their career and become a professor, a junior professor. And my definition might not be perfect, but this is how I define what I do or what a postdoc does. So officially, my title at Stanford is postdoctoral scholar. Now I hate using that term because it makes me sound like some like ancient philosopher and I call myself a postdoctoral researcher. That's what's in all my email signatures. So essentially a postdoc is almost like a continuation of your PhD years minus all of the coursework, minus the dissertation pressure and deadlines. Um, so it's kind of like all the good parts of the PhD, the freedom, being able to do research, do what you kind of want, and you get paid way more. I mean, it's still not a ton of money, but you get paid more than a PhD stipend to do it. As a postdoc, you still have a mentor who sort of sponsors you, uh, mentors you, they might pay your stipend, um, and you are sort of still seen as their uh, mentee, but it's different than sort of like the student advisor relationship in a PhD program. So I still have my mentor um, who I'm learning a lot from, but a lot of the work I'm doing is starting to grow independent of being reliant on a mentor to do all of my work. So sort of back to um, what I do as a postdoc. Um, again, it's very flexible. I just create my days the way I want to, um, and I love that kind of flexibility. Um, I still can work on outside projects with people that I am not directly working with at Stanford. Um, I can collaborate with whomever I choose. And so these are the three goals, three key goals that I set for myself in my postdoc. The first one being to write grants. Yes, I submitted an F31 that was not funded uh, when I was a PhD student, but now as a postdoc, I really want to fill that gap because I feel like these are my years you know, to start applying for more grants, eventually work up to applying for a K award, which is an NIH grant specific for postdocs. So that is my first kind of key, like most important goal that I've set for myself. And I think will really be the most important step in helping get me to that faculty position that I hope to apply for and get in the future. Number two um, is to gain experience doing more community-based participatory research. So all my research revolves around adolescent substance use. And I feel like a lot of the work that I did as a PhD student kind of came out of convenience. Like, okay, I have to finish my dissertation by a certain time. Like the PhD years don't really give you enough time to like go into the community, build relationships and work directly with the types of people that you want you know, benefiting from your research and your work. So I really want to work with my mentor because she does a lot of what I call CBPR, community-based participatory research. And I hope to learn how to also incorporate that element in all of the work that I do. Because from here on moving forward, I don't want anything that I do research related, intervention development related to not have some sort of community voice as a part of that. Lastly, um, I also, this is probably not too a surprise, but I want to continue all of my teaching and mentoring that I've very much so valued, you know, why I even have this channel to begin with. Um, a lot of advice I actually got from my 
certain mentors were that you don't really need to teach during your postdoc. Um, that's not really seen as a priority for a lot of people. And it's okay if there's like a gap in your teaching when you um, do your postdoc, um, when you're applying for jobs in the future. And just for me, like I kind of get that that might be like accepted in the field. But for me personally, I still want to keep teaching in some capacity keep mentoring students. Right now I'm actually mentoring a Stanford undergraduate student and that has been a wonderful experience um, through an official um, program through Stanford. So continuing to do work like that, um, you know, helping make academia a more inclusive and equitable space um, for all types of students um, is definitely a passion of mine and I want to continue to do that. So hopefully that kind of clears up what I do. I guess it doesn't really answer the question of like what exactly is a postdoc, um, but hopefully that helps. Now don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on another episode of Office Hours with Jess, the postdoc.